ang isang pinaka serious na crime committed by Pastor Kibuloy is that of qualified human trafficking. At uh, palagi nating naririnig ito lately at uh, kahit si uh, former mayor Alice Go ay na charge din ng human trafficking. Uh, ang emphasis kasi sa human trafficking is because it is a very serious crime. At uh, it is more severe pag ito ay qualified and it becomes a non-bailable offense with a fine of not less than 2 million pesos but not more than 5 million pesos. Merong mga elements ang human trafficking. Number one, the trafficked person is a child. Number two, that child has been adopted and the adoption was for purposes of prostitution, pornography, sexual exploitation, forced labor, slavery, involuntary certitude, or death bandage. Number three, the crime is committed by a syndicate or is on a large scale. Number four, the offense is committed by a public official or an employee of a public official or it is committed by a private person assisted by other private persons considered as a syndicate no? so syndicate on a large scale three or more persons ibig sabihin ng syndicate then uh, the traffic person yung child is recruited to engage in prostitution. The offender is also uh, considered as qualified pag siya ay member ng military or government agency. The offender is considered qualified pag yung biktima ay namatay or became insane suffered mutilation or got infected with HIV AIDS virus and uh, other requirements ng uh, batas na ito. And uh, in Republic Act 7610 as well as Republic Act 9208 ito yung Anti-Trafficking Persons Act uh, i-define niya kung ano ang qualified so, yun ang, uh, that makes it a qualified trafficking na non-bailable and a fine of more than 2 million pesos. And uh, trafficking is defined as an act which involves the recruitment, obtaining, hiring, providing, offering, transportation, transfer, maintaining, harboring, or receipt of persons with or without the victim's consent or knowledge within or across our national borders. So it can also be committed by means of threat, use of force, or other forms of coercion, abduction, fraud, deception, abuse of power, or position, or taking advantage of vulnerability of a person, especially a child. No? So, in these cases alone, ang common element ng trafficking is that when you get a person into your hands and exploit the child, so that human trafficking or qualified human trafficking talks about exploitation of minors or even women. And uh, ang human trafficking ay hindi lang... Uh, Dito sa Pilipinas, uh, uh, Pinipinalize, but all over the world, including sa United States of America. And in 2022, 168 human trafficking cases were investigated, but only 29 were convicted of sex trafficking in the past two years. No? 
while the others were convicted of labor trafficking. So it is really very hard to prove uh, qualified human trafficking pero kailangan dito may protection. Yung o mga complainants at mga witnesses which the state has an obligation to do.